Where does the Nobel Prize fit into all of this? You know, if you think hundreds of years from now, I venture to say that people will not remember the winners of a prize, but they'll remember creations like these. Maybe I'm romanticizing engineering, but I guess I want to ask how important is the Nobel Prize in all of this? Um, well, that's a, that's a complicated question. It, it, uh, as a physicist, it's something you, if you're, if you're trying to win a Nobel Prize, forget it because they give, you know, one a year. So there's, uh, there's been 200 physicists who have won the Nobel Prize since 1900. And, yeah. and so that's, you know, yeah. and so things just have to fall right. So your goal cannot be to win a Nobel Prize. It wasn't my dream. Uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, tremendous for science. I mean, why the Nobel Prize for a guy that made dynamite and stuff is, you know, what it is. Yeah. It's a long story, but it's the one day a year where actually the science that people have done is all over the world and so forth. Forget about the people again. You know, the, it, it is really good for, for science. Celebrating science. It celebrates science for you know, several days, different fields, uh, you know, chemistry, uh, medicine, and so forth. And uh, everybody doesn't understand everything about these. They're generally fairly abstract, but then it's, you know, it's on the front page of newspapers around the world. So it's really good for science. It's not easy to get science on the front page of the New York Times. It's not there. Uh, it should be, but it's not. And... Uh, um, so the Nobel Prize is important in that way. Uh, it's otherwise, you know, I have a certain celebrity that I didn't have before, and, um, <laughs> and now you get to be a celebrity that advertises science. It's a mechanism to uh, to remind us how incredible, well, like, it, it, <laughs> how much credit science deserves in everything. Well, we have. It, it has a little bit more. One thing I didn't expect, which is good, is that. You know, we have a a government. I'm not picking on ours necessarily, but it's true of all governments are not run by scientists. In our case, it's yeah. run by uh, lawyers, lawyers and businessmen. Yep. Okay. Uh, and at best, they may have a, an aide or something that knows a little science. So, um, so our country is, and all countries are hardly um, t hardly take into account science in making decisions. Yes. Okay. And uh, having a Nobel Prize, the uh, people in those positions actually listen. So uh, you have more influence. I don't care whether it's about global warming or what the issue is. There's some influence which is lacking otherwise. And uh, I, people pay attention to what I say. If I talk about global warming, they wouldn't have. Uh, before I had the Nobel Prize. Uh, yeah, th this is very true. You're like the celebrities who talk. Uh, <laughs> celebrity has power. Uh, celebrity has power. And that's that's, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, yeah. Uh, singling out people, I mean, on the other side of it, singling out people has all kinds of, you know, whether it's for Academy Awards or for this, have unfairness and arbitrariness and so forth and so on. So, uh you know, that, that's the other side of the coin. Just like you said, especially with the huge experimental projects like this, you know, it's a large team and yeah. it does, the nature of the Nobel Prize is singles out a few individuals to yeah. represent the team. Yeah. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful thing. 